Berlin Wall happened because the phone rang and I was supposed to sing uh, on television uh, on the Sylvester Show, which is a big show in Germany where they invite you to sing because my song was in the top 10 and we sold 11 million singles of Looking for Freedom. Looking for Freedom had gone across the wall and the people in, Ber in, in East Berlin really saw it as an anthem. They, they were singing it because it was a song about hope and it meant something to them. They were prisoners over there. Get the National Geographic. You will, it'll blow you away how wonderful this is. Because I asked them, were you singing my song? And they said yes. So I said, I, only if I can sing on the Berlin Wall. And my ex-wife said, you think they'll agree to that? I said, no way. They had to get Honecker and Kohn were the two prime ministers, one of Germany and one of East Germany, Helmut Kohn and Honecker. Honecker was the bad guy, and Cohn was the good guy. And they had to say yes, and they said yes. And they called me back, and I said, I can say yes. I'm gonna sing on the Berlin Wall. And I, I called up all my friends, and I said, who wants to go? And I got all my buddies from, from, um, from high school, and um, who had cameras, who were photographers, who were uh, cinema, uh, cinematographers. And we all, I said, you guys get over there, I'll buy the, the hotel. So I bought, a room in the hotel, big hotel room. We all stayed there, and we went in a, in a uh, police van, doo -doo 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 -doo, and we went above the wall, and I had this cheesy jacket with lights on it, and it was in the show. It was in um, um, Off the Record. I still have that jacket, um, and I figured uh, I would wear it because it was like New Year's Eve. <laughs> now I look at it, and I'm going, why am I wearing this stupid jacket? Um, but I sang above a million people, I've been looking for freedom. And they were all on the wall, s still separated by the wall, but the wall was halfway down. And they were singing in English. And there was a million people there. And um, just last year, not this year, but last year, I went back to the same place and did a million people again. Uh, and sang at midnight, looking for freedom, with a big fireworks display. You can see it on YouTube. Um, you can, see the, you can see the wall in uh, 1989, and you can see the uh, 2014, right? Yeah. Um, but it was a very incredibly emotional experience. We chopped the wall down. We brought a whole bunch of them back. Now those pieces that we have are, are they're like $500 a piece. You know, half of them are in my attic. <laughs> and we, we, we chopped down. Everybody was just chopping the wall down because it was a big celebration. It was an incredible moment because families that had been apart for 40 years were, were, were reunited. And um, you should watch the National Geographic special or, or you actually see Bridge of Spies. It's really, really pretty realistic.